The Komodo dragon, the king of the lizards, is the world's largest and heaviest reptile, named after the island where humans spotted a dragon-like creature for the first time. The Komodo dragon is an endemic Indonesian species found on Komodo Island and its neighboring islands. These wild dragons typically weigh about 154 pounds or 70 kilograms, but the largest verified specimen reached a length of 10.3 feet or 3.13 meters and weighed 366 pounds or 166 kilograms. Males tend to grow larger and bulkier than females. They are incredibly strong and powerful with long, thick bodies short, muscular legs, and an almighty tail that is used for both fighting and for propping the animal up when it's standing on its hind legs. Komodo dragons have 60 razor-sharp teeth. With the ability to replace themselves if damaged or lost, they can go through four or five sets of teeth in their lifetime as they rely on their razor-sharp teeth and strong claws in attacking their prey. If its prey does not die from the attack, they have an even stronger weapon, their lethal venom. Their saliva contains 50 different strains of toxic bacteria, causing an instant and deadly infection in its prey. Komodo dragons can swallow huge portions of meat swiftly. Their stomachs expand quickly and can consume up to 8% of the dragon's specific body weight in a single meal. Once they have killed their prey or found a dead or decaying body, Several dragons converge to share the meal together. The largest male dragon gets to eat first, followed by smaller males and females, with the juveniles eating the remains last. Many lizards eat plants, but Komodo dragons are carnivorous and eat almost any kind of meat. Scavenging carcasses are stalking animals that range in size from small rodents to large water buffalo. Young feed primarily on small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds. If they live to be five years old, they move on to larger prey, such as rodents, monkeys, goats, wild boars, and deer. These reptiles are tertiary predators at the top of their food chain and are also cannibalistic. Although the Komodo dragon can briefly reach speeds of 10 to 13 miles an hour or 16 to 20 kilometers per hour, its hunting strategy is based on stealth and power. It can spend hours in one spot along a game trail, waiting for a deer or other sizable and nutritious prey to cross its path before launching an attack. Most of the monitor's attempts at bringing down prey are unsuccessful. However, if it can bite its prey, bacteria and venom in its saliva will kill the prey within a few days. After the animal dies, which can take up to four days, the Komodo uses its powerful sense of smell to locate the body. The Komodo dragon's sense of smell is their primary method of detecting food. Using their forked tongues, they test the air for the scent of warm-blooded animals. They have a Jacobson's organ at the roof of their mouth that analyzes the information from the tongue and signals the direction of the potential prey. Their sense of smell is so acute, they can detect the smell of dead or dying animals up to five miles away. Komodo dragons are solitary and powerful predators, roaming territories dependent on the individual size, covering a distance of around two kilometers every day. They are also known to be excellent swimmers, traveling from one island to another over a relatively long distance. Although they are solitary animals, several Komodo dragons will often gather around a single kill. To catch large animals, these lizards sit for hours, hidden in the vegetation, camouflaged by gray-brown skin. Then they ambush the victim with incredible speed and force. Although the Komodo dragon would have once been widespread across many Indonesian islands, they are today confined to just five, which all lie in the Komodo National Park. The islands of Komodo, Rintja, Gilamontang, Padar, and the western tip of Flores are the last remaining homes for these enormous animals that are most commonly found in open woodlands, along with dry savanna and on scrubby hillsides, and can also be found inhabiting dried up riverbeds. It is thought that Komodo dragons evolved to be so big on these islands due to the presence of several large mammalian species that have since gone extinct. Today, however, they are becoming more threatened in their natural environments with the loss of their habitats to deforestation for timber has pushed the last remaining populations into smaller and more isolated regions.
Komodo dragons were discovered by Western scientists at the beginning of the 20th century. Since then, they have been an object of observation and have gradually become a popular tourist attraction. In 1980, Indonesia established the Komodo National Park to preserve and protect the endemic Komodo dragon and other endemic species of the rich marine environment, including the orange-footed scrub fowl and the Timor deer. Today, Komodo National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The conservation status of the Komodo dragon has classified them as a vulnerable species. Despite all efforts, the influx of tourism can pose a threat to the environmental conditions of the dragon's natural habitat, interfering with their mating process and resulting in a decreased number of offspring. Moreover, Komodo dragons that live outside of the national park are also at risk due to the quick shrinking of their habitat, as impacted by the increased human population. Possibly the biggest threats for the lizards are the illegal poachers who steal the dragons to sell them at high prices. As you can see, Komodo dragons are extremely strong animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in Africa, among many other powerful animals? The wildlife of Africa is diverse and abundant. No other continent has the diversity of wildlife found in Africa which spans the entire climatic spectrum from scorching heat to freezing cold. Mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and insects have all been attracted to the area's diverse vegetation. More than 40 primate species, ranging from tiny galagos to massive gorillas, a wide range of antelopes, gazelles, and other hoofed animals, and 70 carnivore species are among them. The bird life is also abundant with over 1,500 species found in the south of the Sahara. Africa also has the world's fastest land animal, the cheetah, the world's largest bird, the ostrich, and the world's largest land animal, the elephant. In Africa, there are giant tree-dwelling monitor lizards that are similar in size to Komodo dragons, but have a more slender build. The Komodo dragon has a more robust build for ground dwelling, as a hunting method, the Komodo dragon uses a combination of venom and mouth bacteria to deliver a fatal bite to water buffaloes on their hind legs and then wait for them to die slowly. This method is unlikely to work with African herbivores that have evolved to defend themselves against ambush predators. They would probably notice the danger and run away. Although the Komodo dragon is a semi-aquatic and capable swimmer, it is much smaller than the Nile crocodile which can reach a maximum size of 5 to 6 meters. Hippos are also very large and dangerous, so living in the water could not be a solution. Because dragons are ambush predators, they may be able to kill the zebra and wildebeest that are so common in the area. Even buffalo and giraffes could be harmed by highly toxic bites. The predators, on the other hand, are what will keep the dragons from spreading far. Dragons get much of their food from scavenging, but hyenas and vultures are more mobile and would easily dominate carcasses before the dragons can get enough food. They might even take the kills of dragons that were depending on venom to do the work. Lions would challenge them, and some would probably die as a result of their lack of caution. But lions prefer to hunt at night, and the lizards would be slaughtered while they slept. Leopards would act similarly. Africa is also famous for its temperamental herbivores. Elephants would sense that the dragons were carnivores and attack whenever they saw them. Even with its venom, a Komodo dragon is not nearly powerful enough to bring down the largest of all land animals. Rhinos would also probably take issue with them, resulting in gored dragons, and hippos would certainly attack a dragon given the chance. As Komodo is not a rainforest creature, it's unlikely the dragons could survive in the humid Congo, and nothing that large could make it in the Sahara. So, in conclusion, Komodo dragons would not be capable of making it in Africa. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if Komodo dragons were relocated to Africa? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.